Right, welcome back. Um, we've got a par four to start us off here. Got this pond driver in hand. Yep, that'll do the job. Yep, okay, good. Good start. Welcome back to every shot of a 12 handicap golfers round. Today we are at White Hills Golf Club up near where i know what you're saying where's where well it's in hertfordshire this is actually a course where i infamously score pretty bad so hopefully i'm going to turn the tide today and do something well playing with my boy ben today um which is going to make this a feel good round because well we always get the best out of each other and we're having a match around the course so does match play relate to having a good stroke play score well we'll have to find out we're over here on the uh left hand side i thought that i actually hit the line perfectly um but actually I am miles offline here. Okay, effectively, my line is straight over the right hand side of this tiny little tree in front of me. Got about 150 in or 150 to the back. I'm going for the back here because I've got a nine iron. Oh, pulled it. Go over the bunker. Get over. All right, found our first sand trap of the day, guys. Now, my swing's been pretty good for the last couple of weeks, been very happy with it. Um, it's not feeling so good today. I was out on the range, just didn't feel like anything was clicking, but we're gonna be scrambling to the best of our ability. And a lot of you guys have been saying that I need to suck it up, man up and hit driver. So that is what we are going to be doing today. I think I've got a driver swing that is working, so it should hopefully put me in some slightly better positions to attack pins. And if my iron play is as bad as I'm thinking it might be, being closer would actually be a bit of an advantage. Let's have a feel of how hard this bunker is though. It doesn't feel like there's a lot in there. Definitely not going to try and splash it too hard, that's for sure. It's pretty good. Spin. Oh, it's a little bit past the pin. I'm happy with that though. Okay, I can't see anything in this one, so 18 foot for a par. Ooh, good roll. Tap in bogey to start us off. All right, on to the second. Next up, we have a par four. It's a dog leg down the hill to the left. Now, I just said about staying aggressive, I've got a hybrid out, but this hole really rewards just being accurate and hitting to the slope and getting a lot of roll down it. Oh, I've pulled it left. All that talk about being accurate and then I do that. Pull left! Oh, I've seen it down. We'll find that one. Oh, that's frustrating as hell. It's not exactly where I wanted to end up, I won't lie. Um, I've got quite a fluffy lie though, so I could potentially like go for it it's 185 to the pin but i'm worried about these trees in front so i'm going to hit a seven iron and just sort of hopefully let it drift round yeah that's good might even get lucky and get almost all the way there yeah we might have, we might have actually got there yeah it's a pretty good result from the uh, position we're in uh gonna hit a little little bump and run up to the pin here Oh, overdid a little bit. Could have been a lot worse though. Okay, nine foot for par. Yes, come on, good roll. Okay, all right, okay. It is sunny today, I'm not gonna lie, guys. We did have a bit of rain, so it's actually softened it up a bit, which is nice. Um, so we need some objectives for today. So first objective is gonna be to beat Ben, sadly. It's gotta be in our match play, 18 holes, currently one up. He does get three shots. Uh, new father, so congratulate him on the lack of sleep down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, other objectives. We're going to try and get a birdie and hmm, one more that starts with a B. Beat Ben, birdie. Mm, I want to say no double bogeys. No, bogey. no bogey bogey. Let's put it that way. Break 80. You're the guy that can beat break. You you've broken 80 here, Ben. You had the round of his life last year here. I think what you're four over. 77. What's the par here? 72. So five over. Absolutely outrageous. So he's still beating my best round. Until today, bro. <laughs> Until today. Next up is a rather testy par five. It's quite long and it's got a huge like dip in it. So your second shot is always up a massive slope. That'll do. Yeah, right, it's hit the bottom of the dip and it's run a decent way up the other side. It's still in the fairway, which is good. Here's the second shot I was talking about, guys, where you're going to be able to see absolutely nothing. Um, 
My line is just left of that little tree that seems to be in the middle of the fairway for some reason. Got a five iron in hand, because I think that it's gonna come up quite high anyway. Yeah, that's really good. Absolutely perfect, that. Very nice. Yeah, so if I didn't make it clear, the final objective is to do no double bogey. So, bogey bogey, we're gonna call it. 90 the pin, I actually found the rough. I was expecting myself to be in the middle of the fairway for some reason anyway. Uh, 90 the pin, got 50 degree in hand, just a really smooth one, any right of the flag so that it doesn't go in that bunker front there. I could be right on it. Could be right on it. Is it? It's obviously, it's run quite far because coming out of the rough, it's gonna have no spin, so it's just gone on a bit. Coming up to the green, it looks like we are close for a birdie opportunity. Okay, I've got seven foot here for a birdie. Don't think we're gonna get a better one than this today, that's for sure. I've missed it. I knew as soon as it left the face that I missed that one, that is sad. It's a par though, so we'll take that. Par three that is downhill, it's about 148 to the pin, just at the front. A little downwind, I've got nine iron in hand. Oh. Pulled it a little bit left, but if I get that kick I was hoping for, we should be all right. Yeah. Oh my God, that's pretty good. Oh my God, it's getting closer and closer. Oh my God, that is so close. Holy smokes. Okay, well, I thought the last hole we had a good attempt. This one's like four foot for a bird. Oh my God, it didn't break at all. Okay, right, well, we're still in search of that birdie. That's outrageously bad. It's a par though. So we've got a par four. It's not the longest, it's downhill. I'm gonna aim at those bunkers if I end up in them. So, so be it. If I don't, brilliant. There. I think that's going to clear the bunkers. Oh no, it's landed in it and then somehow jumped out. I'm not really sure how that's come out, but we, we take those blessings. Might get a little bit jumpy at this rough. So I'm going to aim right at the pin because uh, a lot of bunkers up the left. So I don't really want to go near that. I think I've pulled that into a bunker. If I get lucky again, that would be crazy. Lucky again. Really lucky. We're putting for a bird again. I don't know what's going on here. That was insanely lucky. All right, we've got 24 foot. Got to come down a little ridge though. So I'm definitely going to go easy on this one. I think I just went maybe a little too easy on it. Oh my God. How many shots? That is three shots in three holes. I think I've cost myself there with poor putting. That's a terrible bogey that is. Did not make that good fortunate bounce count, that's for sure. All right, me and Ben are laughing because um, we've never played from here before. Uh, you have to actually hit it over a hedge to get it in play, so that's interesting. Yeah, I caught that one really well. Couldn't put it, I'm literally gonna land on the, on the yellow stick. I almost hit it, that would've been unfortunate. Despite absolutely nuking that drive, I've still got miles in like miles so 280 in gonna hit a seven iron up there oh that is so bad it's all right i think the wheels might be wobbling they're not off they're just wobbling at the moment all right now we've got a lot further in than i wanted uh 170 got six iron in hand oh that is way too right tom please stay in bounds that's uh, flirting with danger there. All right, well, that's less than ideal. No backswing. Got to just punch it, see if I can get it out on the green, really. Oh, I got under it. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, 25 yards to the pin now. Oh, I've caught it thin. It's not the worst result. We could potentially make that putt. missed it again oh that's such a bad double the bogey bogey challenge has been failed no 
another straight par four here um, little ditch that runs up the left hand side so do not want to be hitting it into that but we are downwind so we should get, get a decent ball here that's for sure oh that's a little right bounce left please yeah okay it's bouncing left it's trying all right okay we've got 145 to the pin here got a nine iron in hand Ooh, is very much above my feet, so aim it out over that tree. Coming around, it's trying. Uh, it's bounced on. I think that could be quite good. Pretty disappointed. Like, it's the easy stuff that I've not done that has cost me so far. Um, like, that little chip out of the bushes, I'm not too upset that it didn't get to the green for example it's the fact that I put myself in that position in the first place chunk in a seven iron throw in a six iron miles right missing three putts I think as well I haven't literally drained any of them so that's where we're definitely losing strokes right now four over but still a lot of golf to play surprised to find myself just off the side here thought I've hit that really well but apparently not um, <coughs> Little 50 degree back on, let it roll down. <laughs> Slow down, please. I've built borderline bladed it. <laughs> right, we need to start rolling these in. I need to do some visualization, I think, because right now I can't even imagine the ball getting near the hole. It's not a good way to think about it, is it? Right. I pulled it. That is so bad. All right, don't rush this. Ah, that was the worst part of the round by a mile, and there's been some stinkers, so that's saying something. All right, we've got a 382 yard par four. It's actually a bit of a blind shot here. Uh, there's just a yellow stick in the middle. White Hills living up to its name, I guess. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, that's really good, I like that. Uh, another decent drive there. I'm 23 to the pin. Gonna hit a full pitching wedge because it is at the front. Again, giving it a bit more. Because <laughs> it's a hill, white hills. We're gonna be on the side of one the whole time, so this should come round to the left a bit. It's turning too much, that's gonna go bunk, I think. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I kind of fatted it as well, so, oh, so close, I'm so close right now to being really good, so close to playing the best golf of my life, <laughs> there's not much sand in here, so we're going to dig it again, make sure we cut into the sand, that's pretty good, bit there, oh nice, even Ben's impressed. Oh my God, that's actually outrageous. I have actually missed it. What the hell? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm actually, I'm done. Game, video's over, we're canceling. That is, now I'm, I'm actually pissed off at myself. Usually I'm all right when I make a mistake because I am, you know, an average golfer. Um, but that's, that is, that I'm fumed. This is a pig of a par three to finish the front nine as well. It's into wind, uphill, it's about 180 yards or something, probably playing more like 190 because I've got a five iron. Oh, I've caught it thin. Yeah, it's over. Run. Not very good. Not very good at all. So short, 60 yards still to the pin. Get up the slope. Oh, it just caught the front edge, which will have killed all of the run out, sadly. Got about 33 foot full par here. Go ball. Ah, oh, Ben is disappointed in me. My God. Oh, just give me one, please, game. I'm losing the will. That's a double. Oh, yikes. We've now got a pig of a hole, 470 yard par four, I mean. When you're having a bad time, this is not the hole you want to come up against. That'll do. 
probably gonna go. It's not the longest drive. Sit there. Yeah, it's fine, it's alive. It's a long old hole, this one. So yeah, this is awful. Still got T20 and I'm in a divot. So I can't really get to the ball as clean as I'd like. I've got a seven iron. I think that's as conservative as I'm willing to go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Shitty divot, man. Bad luck, that is. Not really sure what's going on. Maybe it's the heat. My brain has been fried. At least we're far enough up now that we have a, a shot at the green. Got a six iron in hand, about 180 yards away. It's pretty good, it's just turning a little bit too much though. Oh, a lot too much, that's nowhere near, is it? Yikes. That front nine, cannot believe that I finished plus nine, guys. That is so sad, really, really sad. I mean, it wasn't even when the numbers started racking up. It was when I missed the three putts in like three holes. They were birdie putts. Didn't have to make them, but should have done. Since then, it's been a bloodbath, I won't lie. But I think that was where everything really unraveled, where I just couldn't convert those. So let's see. I feel like the game could get back on track. Don't think I'm swinging it too badly. It's very unlucky to be in a divot, but yeah. Hey ho, that rule get eventually changed social media will see to that right okay we've got 42 yards to the pin here 54 in hand run yeah this number's about right just took a took a dodgy kick so we've got a bogey putt realistically on all other courses this is a par five so i'm not too upset right line left it short okay all right we've got a par three 185 yards to the pin nothing about it just literally hit a good shot that's what you have to do stand up and hit this six arm well i have hit that very very well very well i think i got too high and it's actually into wind that is so unfortunate so we've got 27 yards the pin which means that this six iron which i thought i'd hit really well has gone 150 yards but that is because it went much higher than a normal six iron flight so it's spinny and the wind just gusted really hard so go that's come up short as well i need to just get to the gym i think all right okay 15 foot to my par That, I'm not going to lie, that's the worst part I've done today. Literally, I jabbed it and it's gone in. Just shows how crazy this game is. We've got a par five and I thoroughly dislike this one because you don't really want to be hitting 190 shot, but it gets like a full bottleneck of like 50 yards <laughs> when you get to 190. So just everywhere the driver lands is going to be in the bottleneck. So it's a real thread, the eye of the needle kind of thing this. It's heading for the trees, get lucky and bounce through. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're through the trees, we love it. We love it. Right, staying strong, being aggressive. Three wood off the deck, 230 into the pin here. Didn't just hit driver to lay up on this one, so. Oh my God, full left! Did you see it? I didn't see it at all. There you go. Bad shot gets punished here. Hit a couple of trees, ended up being right here. Just get a hybrid and tap it, I think. Yeah, just get it running. That's all we can do there. Just slightly right at the pin. Give myself a bit of margin for error. Getting a 70 yard shot here. It's pretty good. Sit there. Might have gone a little long. 27 foot putt. Yeah, we'll take that. Don't think there's much chance I could miss that. I didn't miss it. That's good. Bogey. We've got this dog leg to the right. I don't think driver to play, but I'm still going to hit it. That is crazy. 
get over the trees. Get through them. Yep, we're through on the fairway. Just. I think I was due a bit of luck. Update on mine and Ben's matches. They're uh, currently all square. <sighs> Let him back in. Three up at one point. Now got 83 into this pin. We've done the aggressive thing. And we've got a chance of doing something good here. That looks pretty good. Yep, I think that's very good, guys. Six foot to check off the uh, birdie objective, which we have struggled with so badly. Yeah, there we go. Finally, we put, well, we take something off the card rather than adding to it. We're on to the 14th. Now, during the winter, it had become a par three. Now, it, in the clubhouse, it says that there are preferred lies all over it because it doesn't have a fairway. Like, it used to be fairway on the left, but they've planted like little trees and there's loads of grass over there now. And just over here on the right, there's like, it's almost like there's a split fairway. So I don't really know where I'm hitting. I think I'm hitting towards the hump on the right, but you get preferred lies anyway. So that's the one. That's actually perfect. Sometimes I think I'm the best player in the world. And other times I think I'm borderline I can't even say it, it's not PC. Like, we don't know what's going on with this hole. We're walking down, like, well, I'm walking down what wasn't a fairway before. Ben's over there in what was the fairway before, because the bunkers are there. Um, I'm not really sure what their vision for this hole is, um, but it'll be interesting to see. I reckon they're gonna cut down all the trees in the middle and just have it as an open fairway. Um, but it'll be a shorter hole. Always will be, I guess. Right, okay, 92 yards to the pin. Got my uh, gap wedge. Just gonna open it up a little bit, because I want to get Plenty of height on this to get over the uh, the tree. Oh, that is so bad! Please get over. Oh, we're miles over. That's just a really bad shot, but we've got a chance at birdie. Okay, 21 foot. Can hit a little bit harder. That's too hard. Sit. Whew. It's lucky it didn't go much further past. So now what I'm like. Good par, we'll take that. Downhill par three um, is 168, saying 161 because of the slope, but it is into wind, so I'm gonna hit a seven. Ah, oh, quite fat. Please let the slope do a lot of work for me. It has bounced very hard, and it is crying. It's on the front edge, and I think it might have stopped. Long par. Okay, so I thought I was there, but actually it turns out I've come out quite short. Um, we have got 30 yards to the pin here. Is it now? Just slightly past. To be fair, I've hit everything. All of my chips have come up pretty short today. I think the greens are quite spongy, so I think just giving it a little bit more gives it an actual chance of getting there. What you didn't just see, guys, is I said to Ben with this other ball that I hit, that I would just literally step up and hit it in, and I have from about 45 foot. <laughs> uh, why didn't I just, why wasn't the other ball my ball, you know? <laughs> That's a bogey, all right. All right, guys, next up we have a par four. It's one of the hardest on the course. Uh, it's actually approach, which is tricky, because you kind of go down into a valley and then you have to hit up onto a green, which is always, Challenging. Oh my god, that is bad. Okay, that's going to be down there somewhere on the left hand side. That's not very good. Luckily, it got caught in this rough. It could have ended up down in the ditch over there, so we'll take it. Uh, got a five iron in hand. Gonna aim out to the right, should come around a bit. That's uh, not come around. Bounce left. Yep. Uh, hopefully it's bounced far enough left and round that I've got a shot into the green now. I mean, this is the approach. You've got water in front, so you don't want to let it not get there and roll back, that's for sure. Oh my God, what the f*** was that? I've actually managed to get up the hill. That is awful. I'm not going to lie. This is a proper workout. Um, we've got 25 yards to the pin. I'm going to take it up on the right-hand side. That is so bad as well. Sit there. 18 foot for a bogey. Uh, 
Oh, and it's run on as well. Don't make a triple Tom. <sighs> this is stupid. Such a bad hole, such a bad hole. Okay, so that seven is pretty devastating. It's taken us from 12 over to 15 over. We've now got a, well, you could drive it, but I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna hit a seven iron, lay it up, and then, uh, and then have a short approach in. That'll do it a little heavy, but it's still gonna run down there anyway, isn't it? So, all right, 95 yards into the pin now. Got to carry it across the water as well, so it's pretty much a full 50. Got that pretty well. Sit, sit. Yeah, chance of a birdie. This is where I pitched here, and it has, of course, rolled on. It's starting to get hard again. <laughs> That's what she said. Is that what she said, or is that what I said? I don't know. Either way, 24 foot to the pin for a birdie. I think I've left it short. That I have. Okay. So it's a par. The match between me and Ben is done on the 17th. I've won two up, one to play. Don't have kids. <laughs> if the mic didn't pick it up, he said, don't have kids. <laughs> this golf game's gone in the space of a week of having a child. All right, we're playing off the whites today, guys. Uh, first time we've done that here at White Hills. Um, and Ben, has refused to come back to the tee box over here. He's getting off the yellows back there. Um, yeah, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably about 90 yard difference. Um, maybe even more between the two tee boxes. 566 yard par five, flipping heck. Uphill as well, it's like all uphill. Don't wanna lose this ball, okay? Because if I, if I top this into the stuff in front of me, it's complete, I'm basically. Yeah, that's as good as I can have hoped for there. I mean, it's just smashing into a sheer face of a hill, so it's just stopped. Running back over to Ben here. My ball is about 80 yards in front of the yellow tees. <laughs> Mental. I've got so far in, I've got to hit hybrid and then still probably have a 200 club in. This is mental. Right. Oh, thank God I've made contact with that. Top in one ear would have been devastating. I would probably have cried if I topped one on this hole. 150, straight into wind, probably playing more like 170, so I've got a six iron. That is so poor. <laughs> oh, it's even jumped out of the bunker. What a little scoundrel I am. 17 yards in here. <laughs> Pretty good. Terrible connection, but White Hills, there's a reason I don't like it. It's a good course, it's just so hilly. Just absolutely shattered now. It's a par on a crazy long par five. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's been the way my round's gone today. It's going to be. Okay, here's 16 over guys, it's a 78 on the card. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see another video from me, just click right here.